guy here? Yeah. Um, we've been asked uh, by the, the federal government to assist in a matter of, uh, of great importance in the Pacific. Uh, and it's a matter that requires the acquisition of uh, some oranges uh, that are currently being uh, held in uh, uh, South America. And well, I have been, I've been led to believe that yeah. you're interested in these oranges as well. Well, as a matter of fact, yeah, uh, my information from my company tells me that your company is interested in those oranges. And, and we have a very important interest in those oranges ourselves. And uh -huh. um, I'm sure that it's that if we have a discussion about it, you'll understand that my interest is going to be paramount well, and we just need to acquire these oranges. I, I think that um, as a scientist, uh, um, you, might, you might appreciate the fact that this is really not a commercial venture that we're involved in now. This is a matter of life and death. There are a number of, uh, I can tell you this, that there's a number of, uh, of uh, old uh, uh, warheads that have been stored in the Pacific that are now in uh, some danger of creating a uh, public health hazard of uh, great significance. And if we are unable to acquire these oranges mm -hmm. in a very short period of time, uh, there's going to be some very serious implications. So, and the federal government has asked us for its assistance in this. And you could confirm this if, if you wish. Yeah, that's that's really not of interest to me. I, I can appreciate the, the concern you do have, but the matter that we're dealing with and our company is working on is that we need to have these oranges uh, to save the, really it's a matter of life and death, to save lives of young children. Uh, really our work is dealing with uh, pregnant mothers uh, who are about to give birth and unless we acquire those oranges, there are going to be thousands of newborn children with brain damage, serious eye, ear, and throat problems, but primarily is there, brain is there, damage. Is there really any way independently of, of showing that these uh, that these oranges are essential for this problem? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's redosin disease. We're dealing with pregnant mothers. It's uh, very well known. And it's only these oranges that can provide the absolutely. solution? Absolutely. Yeah, we have to have these special oranges from uh, South America. Uh, so there's really no question. Uh, well, uh, I guess, frankly, you know, we would really appreciate if you would kind of bow out of this because mm. we, we need this crop of oranges, and uh, I'd be happy to allow you to have this, the next crop of oranges. Well, I, I was crop. about to suggest that. We're, we're in a matter of great urgency. Um, as you know, uh, children come and go. Children live and die. I, I'm not saying that this we is We need these oranges within the next two weeks. We just, we have to have them. Uh, the mothers have to be inoculated. If not, it's going to be too late for these children. Um, and if we have to do that, I'm, I'm prepared to go to court and contact my lawyers. Because, well, you know, we've had a history. Our companies, unfortunately. I, un but, I understand but that. my people um, are ready uh, to do whatever we need to do to I'm keep you out of it. Sure, I'm, I'm, under, I'm under, I guess, similar instructions. Uh, I didn't want to have to bring the attorneys in on this. I thought that perhaps as scientists we could, we could discuss this some more. But if necessary, uh, we, we have the attorney general uh, standing by yeah. uh, Attorney General of the United States of America because of the government's interest in this matter. So we're, we're really hopeful that we can find a solution to this. But if necessary, we will, we will um, make every resource uh, available to us. Um, we will put that at the disposal. But maybe we can talk about this as scientists and, and, and find some reasonable way around what well, appears to be quite a dilemma. Here. I mean, I I don't see our position changing, but uh, no, maybe you ours could, will not either. I'm maybe you could sure. tell me what you're going to need the oranges for. Well, the um, the bomb uh, the bomb casings that we are concerned with at the moment, and our best estimate is that the uh, the gases are in the process of leaking out at the moment. These gases need to be neutralized, and a portion of these rare ugly oranges is necessary for us to make the serum. We have to do this within about four or five weeks yeah. in order to uh, to solve this problem. Well, so we're, We also need the oranges to make the serum. Yeah. Um, can you tell me a little, a little bit more? I'm, I mean, I'm kind of technically interested in terms sure. of what you mean, what are you going to do? What do you do, well, what can you do with these oranges? This is not proprietary at all. Yeah. And as I told you before, this is a matter of national urgency. It's not a, uh, a commercial concern of ours. Uh, what uh, we do is we extract from the rinds of the orange a, uh, a serum. It's a, an important component of the serum. From the rinds, you're getting your serum? Yes. Yeah. Um, so we need the oranges in order to get the rinds from the oranges. Yeah, I'd never heard of that before, that you could, you could, you could work with that. Um, yeah. 
No, it's, uh, it's something that we've had a breakthrough on. We're able to do that. That's why the federal government yeah. asked us to participate in this project. Yeah. Well, as I said, we too need the oranges. Uh, of course, we, we wouldn't be able to reveal server. how we do that. Um, yeah, we've had some patent issues going back and forth, and I'm not trying to find that out from you at this point. No, uh, no. Well, but that's largely the role of the attorneys and the, and the executives. I was sent because my people largely see this as a scientific problem, and, they, and I asked to see you because we feel that it is a scientific problem, and as scientists, perhaps we can we can make some progress on it that the others wouldn't be able to understand. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe there is some way that we can share the oranges. Uh, I see. You know, maybe well, that maybe certainly would be desirable. I, as I understand it, there's only 3,000 available, That's and right. we would need all 3,000. Well, we're going to need all 3,000, too. Uh, and we really would like to have the complete orange, but there are some of the things that we can do in our proposal um, that we may not need the rinds for. Uh, and How many of, uh, the, is it possible for us to have all of the rinds, do you think? I think we would probably, need it. Our estimate yeah. is that we would need all of the rinds. Yeah, I, I don't think that we'd be able to do what we wanted to if we had to give up all the rinds, but I understand that you're, you know, I, I believe what you're talking about in terms of mm -hmm. life and death issues for your people, so maybe we could allow you to have the rinds if we could have the rest of the oranges. They wouldn't, of course, be as valuable to us then, but mm -hmm. um, okay. we might have to do something synthetically. I see. Well, um, may maybe there is a, a way of, of sharing these oranges then in, yeah. in, a, in a way that can uh, get... We have a, I have a couple of other problems. We need to get these oranges from Cardoza very quickly. Uh, we understand, well, well, about how much do you think these oranges would be worth if they were, say, uh, if you were just bidding against us? Yeah. And hopefully we should, we can find some way of not yeah. bidding against each other on this. I mean, th these are not store oranges. I mean, they're no. going to be used they're for scientific, scientific purposes, purpose. so they're, they're much more valuable. I would guess that the oranges should go for maybe $100,000 uh, well, if he doesn't get wind of the fact that, you know, there's competitors here. Sorry. Right. Uh, I, I think that's about, that's about our estimate as well. That uh, at least a hundred thousand dollars might it might take at least a hundred thousand dollars to. So uh, your your firm is willing to put a hundred thousand dollars into. We this. we would be willing to put a hundred thousand dollars into this, but you know I've got to lay my cards on the table. Yeah. Um, we have uh, we need to get the, these orange rinds, and we need to get them promptly. And we have a contingency which allows us to go over $100,000 yeah. in order to, to ensure that we get that. And I, I would assume that for your purposes, the yeah. money wouldn't be a really a decisive matter here. Yeah. So yeah. we would be at least willing to do $100,000 right. and uh, possibly uh, considerably more than that. Okay. I mean, we want to lay our cards on the table, too. Uh, and as I said, we need these oranges. Can you tell me uh, how much you think your company could pay, just in case? Well, what's going on. let's see. We uh, we could certainly go over a hundred thousand, but of course now, if we are cooperating on this, yeah. we might have an opportunity of going two hundred thousand dollars to Cardoza, uh, and us uh, equally contributing. Would you be in, in favor of a of a uh, of a proportional contribution, perhaps an equal contribution to the buying of these oranges? Um, well, as I said, the oranges, if you're taking the rides, aren't going to be as valuable to us, so I'm not quite sure, sure that I'm willing to match your contribution. Mm -hmm. uh, but in some way, we can do a proportionally lesser contribution. But we certainly want to pool our money to uh, get all we, all we can with these oranges. Yeah. Uh, well, are, are you agreeable to the fact that whatever the proportion we work out, that we go in and as a joint venture to buy the oranges? Yeah. So that's something that in principle that, you, could, yeah. you could see your In question. fact, I think that's <laughs> important that we do that, and Cardoza doesn't understand that the two of us are working together, right. and we have, you know, different interests, because otherwise it'll bid up the price of the oranges. Yeah. If, if we are the only people yeah. bidding on the oranges, then I suppose Cardoza, if he wants to sell the oranges, is going to have to sell them to us. Right. On the other hand, there may be another bidder around we don't know about. Uh, can you give me some idea about how high your side was prepared to go in order to, uh, to secure these oranges? Well, um, we can definitely go to 100,000. Yeah, we've established that. that. Yeah. And we, you, you say uh, more than that. About how yeah. much more do you think you'd need need in order to? Probably, I'm sure we could go to 150,000. Okay, I think uh, we could maybe, probably go there maybe as well. A little more. Yeah. Well, why don't we um, why don't we do it this way? So 150 each gives us a ceiling of 300,000 dollars. Yeah. Uh, I uh, and I think you indicated just a minute ago that you, you might there might be more than that. 
if we absolutely needed to do that, I'm, right. I'm sure I could get that authorization, although I'm